this is the second complete year of operation of the division. This is the second annual general meeting. Our membership is quite diverse. We have a heck of a lot of full-service family practitioners. But we also have locums, GPs with focused practices, hospitalist doctors, military doctors, residents, and more. And our membership is growing. At the beginning, we had 150 members. And now I'm pleased to report, as of last week, we have over 330 members in our division. And you have to realize that that excludes members in our sister division next door in the South Island. This is a member-driven organization. The diversity that we see in our membership is also reflected in the diversity on our board. Many of the groups that I just mentioned are represented on our board of directors. The inaugural board of directors of the division was very careful in realizing how critical it was to engage physicians right from the get-go. They had a number of surveys and a number of physician engagement events. And from that, the concerns and priorities of the members became apparent. And from those concerns and priorities, four working groups were established. Care of the elderly, mental health, and addictions care access working group, primary care access working group, and locum and practice coverage working group. These groups were very busy this past year. We gave physicians an impossible task at the beginning. Please look for root causes of problems and challenges without coming up with solutions right away. This is an almost impossible task for doctors that like to jump to solutions immediately. That took half the year. The latter half of the year, we actually tabulated the solutions that each working group came up. And then those were brought to your board of directors. And we had a strategic planning day in which those were prioritized and resources were put towards this so that we could turn these into doable projects. Working groups morphed into project groups as we move forward. And I'm happy to say that going forward for the next year, we have plans in each one of these four areas. The care of the elderly working group is developing a prototype for covering nursing homes with family doctors that will be launched in the fall. They are starting with three long-term care facilities. I believe it's going to be uh, Gorge Road Hospital, uh, Glen Gary, and um, Oak Bay Kiwanis Pavilion. The mental health care and addictions working group is collaborating with our island health partners to develop a South Island mental health crisis clinic. Now, what the heck is that, you might, you might ask? Well, it's vision that this clinic will be formed from the needs of family practice, staffed with family practitioners working shifts alongside with psychiatrists and social workers and nurses. And more importantly, these resources will be available to family doctors and patients on a same-day basis. In other words, you can think of this clinic as a mental health walk-in clinic on steroids. Now, these are all in the formative stages, and we're having talks with Island Health, and we're collaborating also with our, our South Island Division partners on this. The GP for Me steering committee of this division has morphed organically from our primary care access working group. And they're busy 
surveying and reaching out to community partner, partners and stakeholders with a view to creating infrastructure where orphan patients can be matched to family doctors that would be willing to take some of them on voluntarily if certain obstacles were removed. And lastly, our locum and practice coverage working group will be piloting a web-based system, Victoria-specific, so that locums can be matched with family physicians. And just as importantly, family physicians can be matched with other family physicians to cross-cover each other. From our speed dating event we had last year, we realized that there just simply isn't enough locums to go around, certainly not in the summer in Victoria. We need a mechanism to be able to cross-cover ourselves, and this working group realized that we're going to need staff resources, and to that end, we're looking to build in a staff support role on a permanent basis to, to manage this uh, for all of you. Our community building committee has been extremely busy, not just with annual barbecues, but with extremely, um, extremely popular um, dine and learn events. Um, I tried to sign up for a dine and learn event today in my office, and I was told that it had sold out in under a day and that I was on a wait list. I think we can have many more of these non-industry sponsored uh, CME events uh, to meet our specialist uh, colleagues. The Community Building Committee has developed the Physician Resource booklet, and this is online. Luddites like me still have paper versions, and I was looking through this um, today. I've been in practice for 25 years, and there are specialists in here I didn't know were practicing in their fields, and resources I didn't know were available. Um, we have just initiated one through our mental health uh, committee, uh, specifically for mental health resources, and you'll see examples of it out in the foyer. Um, this is available online in PDF format, and we're hoping that in the near future we'll transition to an online searchable database. But the Community Building Committee hasn't stopped there. They've also sponsored a Welcome and Transitions Mentoring Group. And what this is, is a mechanism where new physicians coming to town can be paired with peer mentors to basically show them the ropes, to show them the facilities, the specialists, to get them settled so that they'll stay. On the opposite end of the career spectrum, there are physicians that may be willing to stay in practice by altering what they do. And we can pair those physicians up with doctors that have been through that and are successfully doing other things or slowing down, but not just quitting medicine. All of this with a view to increasing capacity in our system. Now, we have many, many other programs going on, and when Elisa's up here, she'll allude to some of those uh, as well. The most important thing is, at the break, Please have a look around the room at these various uh, charts. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please write them down over there. We have a physician evaluation that I'm hoping you'll fill in at the end of this, uh, uh, of this night. Um, we have a suggestion box out there for anonymous suggestions. Be kind, please. Um, your input is really important uh, to us. This is a member-driven organization. You have to remember that the board of directors stewards the organization, but the division is owned by its members, and the members are in the driver's seat. So on behalf of the board of directors of the Victoria Division, um, I would like to thank 
all the members and our partners out there that have provided support and inspiration uh, over this past year. Uh, thank you.